let's talk about transforming log functions. Now, if the parent function is f of x is equal to log base b of x and b is positive and doesn't equal 1, then a horizontal translation, or excuse me, a vertical translation up will be of the form y is equal to log base b of x plus d, where d is positive. It's going to shift it up the units, and if d is negative, it will shift it down the units. If y is equal to log base b of x minus c, this is going to be a horizontal shift. If c is positive, it will shift to the right. If c is negative, it will shift it to the left. Now, if I have y is equal to a log base b of x, this is a vertical stretch. If the magnitude of a is greater than 1, it's a vertical compression or a shrink when a is less than 1. And of course, it's a reflection across the x-axis when a is negative. Now, we have done a lot of transformations this year. So, what I really want to focus on is some common errors made when you're doing transformations of logarithmic functions. First of all, be incredibly careful when you write log base b of x minus c or x plus c. The function y equals log of x minus 2. What is that? Is this a horizontal shift or is this a vertical shift? Okay, so is this a horizontal shift to the right or is it a vertical shift down 2? So the general rule is, unless you're multiplying, if it doesn't have parentheses, then it is outside of the parentheses. Like this. This is a vertical shift, and this is a horizontal shift. Let's look at what this looks like on a graph. The black curve is y is equal to log base 2 of x. This, what color curve is that? Orange curve is equal to log base 2 of x plus 2. This is a horizontal shift back to the left, two units. And you're going to see the vertical asymptote shifts from x equals 0 to x equal negative 2. So you can always graph these when you have parentheses by taking whatever is in these parentheses, setting it equal to 0. That will give you your horizontal asymptote. So when I take x plus 2, set it equal to 0, I get x is equal to negative 2, that is my horizontal asymptote. This green curve is log base 2 of x plus 2, and this plus 2 is outside of the parentheses. So this is a vertical shift up of two units. The, horizontal asymptote, the vertical asymptote does not change. It stays at x equals 0. The curve is simply shifted up two units at every point.